high irons. So it is, what time is it? 7.53 p.m. So to make me feel better, I kind of want to do like a glam transformation. So I put a little bit of salt tanner. It's a St. Tropez one. It's like the serum one. I'll put a photo somewhere for you guys. So I just applied it on my neck and chest area and a little bit here because I usually just wear long sleeves during winter time. Just to be a little bit more tan in this area. Um, and I'm going to straighten my hair tomorrow and also do my makeup because I'm seeing a friend tomorrow. And we're going to go probably eat and also um, play bingo. I've been wanting to go play bingo for the past month. And I feel it's a message from my mom. She's like, bitch, go play. So, yeah. Um, been wanting to do that. She never went play to play bingo. I went once in my life when I was 18. It's been years. So I'm going to be back tomorrow morning. I hope we can hear better with the mic. I, I'm really trying my best. Do I have to do it like this? So yeah, um, I'll be back tomorrow. And yeah, so we're going to do a little transformation tomorrow. So be right back. So I am back, a little bit tan as you can see, hope the mic is going to be okay. I decided to try these ones that I bought also, so I have two. So I washed my face, I'm going to do my skincare. So let's get into it. I'm going to start off with the Laneige um, Cream Skin Toner and moisturizer my skin has been really dry I haven't done my skincare in a couple of days so first time trying it out it feels really nice I like the texture then I'm gonna go in with this Lancome Absolu it's kind of like an essence so toner is to help rebalance your skin And an essence is good for kind of like a primer for your serums, so it's going to absorb better. You don't need to add all of this in your skincare. I just like it because I have combination skin, so my skin is very dehydrated. Then I'm going to try out this First Aid Beauty Vitamin C. It's my first time trying it. I'm trying to get rid of the scar that I have here. It's a 10% vitamin C. We'll see in a couple of weeks how it is. Frisia Beauty is really good for sensitive skin. So you can use that if you tend to have more sensitive skin and all that stuff. I know some people tend to react with vitamin C. We'll try out First Aid Beauty. Then I'm going to go in with this In Beauty eye cream. It's the Bright and Tight eye cream. I've been using it for a while. Then I'm going to go in with this Innisfree Dewy Glow um, Jelly Cream. It's starting off a new cream, so I want to try this one out. It feels like water. Let's just say it all sunscreen. I'm almost done with this. Then the last step is an oil. So I'm going with the Clarins, the Blue Orchid oil. So you're probably wondering why I go in with an oil if I have combination skin. I've been using oils for like the past three years, I think, in my skincare, three or four years. And I've seen a difference. What it does, it's like it helps to seal your skincare. So you're less dehydrated 
during the day so the water doesn't evaporate quicker and it helps for scarring pores and all that stuff so I did see a difference whenever I don't use an oil my skin just isn't looking nice so add an oil into your skincare routine you'll see the difference guys it's amazing and I only used three drops so you don't need that much and even better if you have dry skin use an oil you'll see it's gonna help so much into your skincare I'm gonna go wash my hands I'll be right back okay so I cleaned my brows with a wipe so that I don't have any residue of skincare on it be using two eyebrow um, gels today so that my eyebrows stay just because my brow lamination is not there anymore so my brows tend to not stay so I went in with the Ilia in frame uh, brow gel it's actually really good it stays on all day but I need a little bit more then I'm gonna go in with the Sephora I'll be cleaning this up do not worry about that so I'm gonna let this dry a little and clean so that I don't have any residue so that when I do my makeup it's not gonna be like patchy and all I'm having a hard time with my brows then I'm gonna go in with this dip brow pomade from Anastasia I usually do my brows at the end but I kind of want to do something different today than what I usually do because I have a lot of eyebrow hair missing on one side I haven't done my brows like this in like two years okay this is why I don't do them like that anymore so I'm missing a lot of eyebrow here on this side um, every time that I do a brow lamination I feel like my eyebrows just like rip off I'm just gonna brush until I'm satisfied. Clean off a little bit because I went a little bit hard with that one. I'm gonna carve off, carve out the brows just a tiny bit on the bottom. I'm gonna leave this like this. It might look better once I do the full face. We'll see. This is yeah. yeah. Understand why Anastasia said that this is not the way that you use the brow the brow i'm gonna go in with the color cases today um, i'm gonna use them as bases on my eyes so that when i do um the eyeshadow it's gonna be more pigmented so i'm just wondering what type of makeup look i'm gonna do i really like colorful makeup so i'm like do i go in with color but I'm wondering like which color should I use I know I'm gonna probably try to use like the white one it's more gray I have one in here that's more white yeah I might use like the white one to cut the crease should I do pink or I think I'm gonna go with this Jeffree Star pink religion this was the last palette that I bought from Jeffree Star I haven't bought anything from him in a couple of years so it has a lot of pink shades I think I'm gonna go in with like coral moral and then hushed and then intimidated That one is pigmented. My God. It's really important to set these because they're kind of thick. It's it's a little messy, but it's okay. I'll fix it with powder. I think I'm gonna go in with Saint Star. It's like 
this shade right here as a transition and to set that little coral shade. Then I'm going to go in with a Strawberry Youth. It's right here. I should try the color cases with the um, um, Blood Money. Is it that? can't remember, but the green one because the green palette from Jeffree Star was a little bit patchy. That's why I haven't used it as much. Going back in with the first shade to blend everything. Then I'm gonna go in with Diva, which is this shade right here. I'm kind of blending it a little bit into the crease also. Just a tiny bit in the outer corner. Blending everything together. Going back again with Diva. And I'm going to go in with a clean brush just to make sure everything's blended. I'm going to go get my NYX Glitter Primer. So NYX Glitter Primer. Just a tiny bit. You don't need a lot. This will make all of the shimmery shades, glitters, just stick on better. I got it on Amazon because I couldn't find it at Walmart for some reason. And then I think I'm going to go in with Frosting Cult. It's this one right here. I said I was going to use the white, but no. Then I just like to go with... Uh, Another brush that's clean and just blend everything. And I'm going to go back in with Diva just to blend since I lost a little bit of pigment. For the moment, I'm done with my eyes. I'm going to clean off what fell and just sharpen the outer corner. I'm going to go with my Beauty Blender and all that stuff, so I'll be right back. This is a long video. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this uh, Watermelon Niacinamide for my primer. My skin has been feeling dry. I'm going to go in with this uh, Beautiful Skin from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the shade number two. I'm matching my neck, guys, not my face, because I self-tan. So we'll see if it's going to be okay. I'm going to go in with a brush. This is the number 60 from Sephora. We'll see how the foundation goes on top of the glow recipe because I've never tried it with the glow recipe one. It's looking nice. I like a full coverage whenever I have colorful eye looks, just so that it's even out pretty much. I just like to go in with a sponge afterwards and just press everything in. And if I need more coverage, I'll add. I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Glow, Halo Glow Beauty one. It's in the shade Light Medium. The only thing I don't like about this is like how it gets dirty. And bronzer brush, it's the number 88 from Sephora. I love bronzer, but this blends out super natural, so tiny bits on the side of my nose, tiny bit. And I'll clean it up with concealer, so don't worry. I used to never do that with my nose back in the days, like contour and all. I started doing it like two years ago. It does do a difference, but... I have a small nose, so I try not to go too intense. Then I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Camel Liquid Blush. It's in Coming in Hot Pink because I want to match my eyes. 
don't need a lot of this. It's pigmented. I put too much. I put too much. Oh no. I go high up with the blush just because I'm going to go in with concealer anyways. Concealer time. Let me see if this shade from the Hourglass, it's in the shade Silk. It was a little bit too dark without a tan. So let me see. Oh, it's dark. It's still dark. Okay. So it stopped filming. I think my SD card was like full. So I used the Huda Beauty concealer and I powdered my face with the Sephora powder. My camera is making a noise. I think it's because it's charging at the same time. <sighs> so yeah, I think my SD card was full. So powdered my face. I'm gonna go in with bronzer and blush. So I'm trying to finish this. I have the the bomb bronzer. That's what I'm gonna use today. And a little luxy brush. I need another battery for this camera. I thought it came with two, but it only came with one. I'm gonna go in with this Benefit Shelly. I'm gonna go in with this brush from Sephora and the Cookie Highlighter. It's beautiful, it's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna go in with this shade diva just put this here like that and put a little bit of cookie highlighter in the inner corner i'm gonna go put my mascara off camera i'm gonna go do my hair i'm gonna straighten my hair and put some pants on because i have my pjs and i'll show you the final look see you soon Okay, so I'm back. This is the finished look. I applied Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium 2 and e.l.f. Lip Oil in the shade Rose Envy. So this is the outfit. It's a little crop top and I have gray jeans on. I don't have my shoes on yet, so I straightened my hair as you can see. This is the final look of me just transforming myself <laughs> so i hope you guys like the video if you want me to do a little bit more of these types of videos just let me know don't forget to like the video and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click the little bell notification to know when i upload so i'll see you guys in my next one bye